Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with a polymer clay tutorial for you. Um, today we're going to make probably some pendants, um, maybe a donut shape out of um, the veneer that we make uh, using this silk screen that I got from From the Heart Supplies. So today I'm going to be using some white paint, uh, maybe black, I, I haven't decided yet, but I think white. Um, this mandala um, silk screen from From the Heart Supplies, the link will be down below. Um, a large circle cutter smaller circle cutter and then I have two colors of Sculpey Primo clay I have wasabi and I have turquoise I'm gonna make a Skinner blend if you don't know what a Skinner blend is blend is right now I don't have a tutorial it's a very basic um, part of making a clay blend and you can find so many different tutorials on making a Skinner, Skinner blend if you search YouTube um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the Skinner blend I'm not going to do the tutorial on that and I actually might add some pearl to these clays because I kind of want it to be a little softer than this bright green and bright turquoise so I'll be back after I make my blend and we'll we'll get started Okay, so this is rolled out to the thickest setting on my pasta machine. There's a little bit more green in here than I uh, originally planned, but I like how it looks. Um, there's a little imperfection there, that's fine. And so if if I wanted to, and I didn't put the pearl in, I think I like the way this turned out. Um, if I wanted to, I could always add more turquoise on this side, but I think I like it the way it is. So I'm gonna grab my um, silk screen and the way the darker orange well not the dark the darker orange side I don't know if there's a difference really so the one so the silk screen 41 is how I can read it this way if you turn it around you can't read it it's backwards so we want to make sure it's facing you or this design's kind of ambiguous ambiguous but if you had like a reindeer or something that was a specific you could tell if it was backwards or not you would want to make sure that the way you're looking at it um, is the way you put it down on the clay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top of my clay and I'm just gonna burnish it lightly onto the clay. Something that you'll also need is a um, paintbrush and a bowl or container of water that you can submerge this in while you're creating the rest of your piece because you don't want the paint to get stuck in the holes of the silk screen. So I'm just making sure that's down on my piece. And I have my white paint, I'm gonna open it. Um, I, another good thing to have is like a card or like a gift card or um, a squeegee or something to kind of dab off excess paint. I don't know if I have one of those around. I don't have one, so I'm just gonna do a thin layer with my paintbrush. And then I'm just going to put it put some dabs of paint on one side of the silk screen and take my paintbrush and bring it across the silk screen now if you do have that piece of like a piece of card a gift card or something that'll make it a little bit easier and more even but i'm just gonna drag my paint across very smoothly. This is very relaxing. <laughs> and you can you can go the other way, but it's not necessary. Okay. Once it's pretty even, I'm going to stick my brush in water and then I'm also going to peel off the silk screen and we're left with a wonderful pattern on the clay and like I said if you had a card it would have gone over a lot more evenly but I actually kind of like how this came out sorry I'm putting that in my water <laughs> um, so I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're going to make some pieces from it Okay, so this is dry to the touch, and I'm gonna go ahead, I want, I like this area right here, I wanna get some of the um, flower detail in there, and I'm going to do an off-center cut, like right there, because then I'll get some green, I'll get some turquoise, actually I'll move it over just a little bit. And I'm just gonna push down, and I'm gonna do a little twist 
and pull straight up. Don't rock. You can twist circles, but don't rock it because it will distort your image. Um, and then I'm going to try and find the middle so we can make a donut. Um, it looks a little off in the camera, but the camera isn't right above it. Uh, that actually looks pretty good where it is once I stood up. You can use um, like an acrylic block to push down if you um, suffer from like carpal tunnel or arthritis or anything, that'll help. Um, and I just twist it again. So we have our first donut. I'm also going to make some studs. I have this cutter from From the Heart Supplies. Um, it came in their uh, 296 cutter set. I can't remember what the name is. I always forget. I will put the name right here and then I'll put a link to it in the description below. So I'm going to put, um, let's go right here. push down hard and I don't know if I said this but I used the thickest setting on my pasta machine to make this slab I'm just gonna pull that up so we have one um, stud front right there and they're going to be sisters not twins so one's gonna be a little bit lighter green than the other I'm just gonna do the exact same thing And we have quite um, the amount of real estate. I'm gonna go ahead and create some more pieces and then I'm going to bake and then I'll show you how I'm gonna use um, these in some jewelry. I'll be right back. One thing I did wanna mention is I always clean up the sides before I bake. It's a lot easier and it causes less sanding afterwards. Um, so I pulled this off of the slab and I've already run my finger around the edges. Now if you have a very thin piece, it might be a little harder to do, but if I use a thicker piece like this, um, it's just easier to do it before baking. You have less sanding at the end. Uh, I will probably touch up, but sanding, uh, baked clay or cured clay also creates dust. So you wanna make sure that you're careful or wearing a mask when you're, when you're sanding as well because you don't want those particles in your lungs. So I have several pieces. I have this and my studs. Um, and actually I'm making some pieces that I'm not going to show in this video. I'm only going to show them in my bead group. So if you guys would like to see what else I made from this slab, please join my bead group. I'll leave it below. It's called Brittany's Beads on Facebook. Um, but I'll be back after I bake this at the manufacturer's recommended time. Um, and I'm going to bake them for an hour. I'll be back. Okay, it is the next day and my piece is cured, my donut, and I've uh, sealed it with um, resin. So here is our beautiful piece. Um, you can seal this with anything. Um, I use, sometimes I use a uh, Verithane spray. I have testers, matte, and um, glossy spray. Anything that's water-based would be okay. Um, in this case, I used UV resin uh, and a, uh, a lamp. Um, you do want to seal anything you use paint on top of because the paint can chip. So here's our beautiful donut. I love it, so cute. That um, pattern from, from the Heart Supplies is so pretty. I'll be using that a lot. And um, so I wanted to try something I haven't tried before. Um, I have, I don't know if you remember from one of my unboxings, I got these seed beads recently. So I poured some out here and I think, yeah, they match well enough. They're a little more blue, but they're okay. I have my cord here my um, beading uh, wire and then I have a ton of different beads so I have some other seed beads yeah those look cute together and um, these beads are vintage I've had them since I was like 15 so that makes them vintage and I only have a few left I really didn't like them when I had them when I was a, uh, I wanted to say a kid because I just thought that they were so ugly but now I'm looking I'm like what was wrong with past Brittany those are gorgeous um, I have some of these wood beads and turquoise yummy um, I had brought out some chevron beads from my amazing chevron bead haul back in the day. These are just green and white. Um, I have some African glass. I actually don't know if this is African glass, but I think it is. And I think somebody sent me this. I can't remember if it was maybe Renee 
Oh, I can't remember. Um, I also brought out these bone beads from one of my bone bead hauls. So we've got a lot of green and turquoise going on. And then I got the, brought these shells out from my recent unboxing from Pam. So, oh, and then these wood beads. So I don't know how much of these I'm going to actually use, but I know I'm going to use at least two of these seed beads and a handful of two of these seed beads back here and a handful of these seed beads. So I'm going to get these out of the way and I'll be right Okay, so I dumped out a couple of these larger seed beads. These are, um, does it say? 6-0 Turquoise Luster uh, by Dazzle It. I don't know if that's still a company that's around, but hey, if you're looking for them, maybe you can find them. So I'm going to slip on one bead and then I'm going to put on a bunch of these and it's going to be annoying to watch me do this. So I'm going to do it in fast uh, motion, but I'm not, I don't care which ones I grab because the entire mix matches my pendant. So I'm gonna do that in fast motion, motion and I'll be back. Okay, so now that I have enough um, beads on my wire, I've also made a very long tail and I'm going to slip on my donut so it doesn't matter if it's going through the front or the back I'm just gonna take my wire and bring my beads down um, I want to make sure that the tail is as long as I want my necklace to be this one I don't want to be too long it's not gonna be like a mm, below my chest length it's just gonna be right on my chest um, and then I'm going to take actually I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to bring it back up through the larger seed bead, the 6 seed bead. So we've made a bale for our donut and hopefully I didn't make a knot too. I think I did. Oh goodness. Try this again and not make a knot this time. Okay, so we bring down our seed bead, and as you can see, we have a cute little bale to hold our donut in place. So the reason why I made the um, wire so long on one side is now we can bead up each side of the necklace. We just open our wire like that. Now, if you just wanted to hook this on to um, a, a ring or something right here, you could just put a crimp bead. I'm not going to do that. This is just something pretty simple that we're going to do, even though I make it look harder than it has to be by knotting things. <laughs> um, I'm just going to cut my wire, if I can find my snippers. Here they are. Okay. So there we go. And then we get to decide how we want to pile on our beads. I'm going to move these out of the way. that is. Um, I know for sure that I want to use um, some of these wood beads. I'm going to open those up. Dump some out. Um, I know I want to use some of these bone beads. They're a little different in color. I think we're gonna need, since both of those are pretty much the same tone in shine, like a little dull, they're not glossy, but they're not completely matte either. I'm gonna go with something that's kind of shiny. Which would be these guys, I only have five of them, I think. So I'll use four. Oh, no, I have four and a dangle, that's interesting past me must have been making earrings or something. Oh yeah, those look nice. And then um, I want to bring some white in, so I think I am going to put in some of these white beads. Mm. Those are a little bright. That's okay. 
and then we need to bring in the green so I think we are going to use these oh yeah those look great okay so I just have to decide my I'm going to move this guy around to the side for a second while we decide the pattern Um, I don't have, I guess I could get a big board out to do the pattern, but that's okay. Um, let's see. What do we want down by the seat bead down here? Something smaller. So maybe grab one of these chevron beads. It's always fun making these necklaces, but it's not fun cleaning this stuff up. <laughs> it pulls out like six different kinds of beads. Okay, so we'll put this down one end and see how we like that up against our... Oh yeah, that's cute. I like that. Mm, I didn't bring out any metal. I kind of didn't want to use metal on this because I wanted to be able to use it with gold or silver. But from what I'm seeing, there's going to be some peakage from our cord if I don't put something there so maybe grab a hishi bead oh boy I'm making a huge mess this is where I need my assistant <laughs> who I can pay in beads to come along this would look cute with some pearls or shells or something on it too okay all right so we'll take this guy back off This guy back on. Maybe we'll need two. Yeah, we might need one more, one or two more. I could probably put on another one of those seed beads too. I think that might be very helpful. So put on another seed bead. Put on two hishis. And then put on our green bead. Oh yeah, that's really cute. I like that. All right, I think I'll do seeing that these are huge holes on these wood beads so I can't I have to remember that and can't put them next to smaller beads no I don't I don't think I like that white bead I think the white is just gonna have to come from the green and white beads I don't like these white stark white wood beads with this necklace so let's see how this looks next to it oh yeah it's cute um, and then I also have these bigger white beads or white and green beads that'll take up more real estate so if we used all small beads oh I forgot I forgot I forgot we want to use these green African beads too hello forgot about those that's what I was excited about actually Bye-bye. Happens every show. <laughs> I'm here all week. Okay, so I'll put this guy next to the turquoise bead. Oh yeah, that's cute. And then we'll get a bone bead going. I'm just going with the flow here. I'm not even 
paying attention to what my pattern is. I can always duplicate it later. Okay, except for you guys can't see it because there's a ton of beads in the way. Okay, oh, that's so fun and funky. And it, because the white is acting kind of as the, um, the accent, I don't need metal. So, all right, so what was our pattern here? It doesn't really look like we had a pattern, but I did, um, okay, so I did two heishis, a green, a heishi, a green. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, do that pattern again. So, I'll grab two of these. fun to just spill out a bunch of beads and go crazy all right so grab oh, I only can only do one of these two of these per side that's all I have so cute I'm loving it um, it is kind of busy, but I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to do um, another he she. Well, maybe I do want it to be less busy. Yeah, I don't like how busy it is. Okay, so we'll go here. I liked it, but I really, it's so busy with the pattern that I want to focus on the pattern of the um, donut, but I'm still going to incorporate all these beads. I just wanted to do, do it in a different way. Okay, that's much better. All right, all right, all right. We're, now we're cooking. <laughs> now we're cooking. Okay, so we'll go, she. I wanted to get further away before I started using the crazier beads. Okay. Now I know what I want to do. Okay, I finally found a pattern that I liked. Oh my goodness, that took a while. Um, and I knew I would drive you guys crazy the way I was designing it. So I did three green, green beads, the really cute lamp work bead, or just glass bead, I guess. Um, a few he she's and then uh, I repeated that same pattern up the side um, with the glass bead now I only have two per side of these so after this next um, step I'm going to use one of these in the middle instead or possibly one of these but I'm already using uh, the w w green and white here so I might not do that okay so we'll just continue on. Let's see here, I'll do two of these.
Hmm, I am looking at this and I should have put one of the bone beads right there. <laughs> oh goodness, okay, I'll fix it. Okay, so I corrected the pattern and I kept going. So we had two more sections of the bone beads with the glass beads. And then I finished it off by using some heishi beads at the back and some seed beads. Um, I'm going to put, I think, a silver clasp on this. I'm not counting on anybody seeing the clasp, so if I happen to wear gold with it one day, nobody's gonna notice. Um, I think I'm just gonna put on this simple bamboo style clasp here. I just need to find uh, some crimps. I'm quiet I'm just thinking had a really rough day <laughs> so we're just thinking today instead of talking okay so I'm going to hide some of this wire and some of these beads and then I will go to the other side and bead up that side Okay, here is our finished project with this beautiful donut. Obviously, this is the showstopper, but we also learned, sorry, let me pull this a little tighter. We also learned how to make a bale with um, seed beads and bead wire. And we made this cute bohemian little, little ditty. <laughs> so once this is hanging, I know you can see some of the bead wire there. Once it's hanging, these beads will come down and you won't be able to see you won't be able to see that as much. That's why we want little beads there though next to, so that they kind of cover it up. But um, yeah, I'm really super pleased with how this turned out. It's so cute. I love all of these beads and I'm loving this donut. Um, I actually want to get some of the donut cutters because it would make it easier being in all different shapes, but, or all different sizes, not shapes, be one shape. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching and listening to my rambling. I am exhausted right now. I don't know how I finished this necklace, um, but I really wanted to show it to you before um, too long. So thank you so much for watching. I could even go in and finish up the sides with white paint if I wanted to, but I kind of like how it looks right now. Um, I hope you guys have a rest, a nice rest of your day. Um, join my bead group. I made a really, I'm, I made a really cute um, item out of the rest of that. Uh, veneer with the mandala screen print. Um, I haven't posted it yet, but I will be posting it in the next couple days so everybody can see. All right, have a good day. Stay tuned for Goldie. Bye-bye.